I studied mechanical engineering as an engineer. I didn't know that there were roles that I could do here. One of my coworkers said that working at the Nike Research Lab would be her dream job. And I remember thinking, oh, yeah, like that's true. You could work there as, as an engineer. I started in manufacturing and was able to follow my dreams to become an engineer uh, working in Flynet. Primarily when people think Nike, they think sportswear, apparel, like, oh, you, know, you wouldn't need an engineer for that. There's engineering in everything that we do. Shoes are much, much more complicated than you would think. I think engineers just build this skill set of thinking strategically about what those key challenges are and how you can improve them. And to me, the more engineers we can have at a place like this, the better setup for success will be. You gotta wanna push the envelope. Nike is all about making the impossible possible. It's just a great environment. It really spans a lot of engineering disciplines, which is pretty cool because you get to work with such a wide range of backgrounds. Whether it's like with materials or tooling or design, there's so many different factors that engineers put their hands into. I like working here because it's, it's close to the product. So where I sit now, it's 30, 40 feet from one of the uh, manufacturing lines that produces the project that I was working on. So I can submit something, get it made, and then I can go see it working. And for me, like to be a better engineer, having that feedback in such a short time frame is really valuable. I would say a lot more traditional engineering companies, you might only be working with engineers, uh, which makes it easier probably in the day to day, but I would argue not nearly as much fun. It's awesome, really. And I feel really proud to come to a company where my team is majority female, actually, now. And we're from all over the world. Like, there's women from everywhere. And it's so diverse. And there's a lot of sustainability going on at Nike. It's really cool to be part of that and see, like, hey, we want to make this material recyclable, not just because it's part of our metric as a company, but just because it's better for the environment. All of our core yarns that we started with are 100% made from recycled water bottles. And then now we have yarn that's, you know, 50% old garments or old post-industrial waste. I really appreciate a well-made product. I work on Nike Air. The airbag product itself, when it's integrated into the shoe well, it all looks like a complete idea. It all works together. And on top of that, like, it has a function and that can either go into performance or that can come in terms of comfort. I appreciate the fact that what we make can be felt. I've worked on a project months and months and months before and then I go to the store, I'm like, oh, there it is. <laughs> I haven't seen you in a while. That's probably the best part of the job. Like you pour so much energy and time into that one little piece and to see people wearing it, performing in it. For me, I like to see my hard work and dedication come to fruition. I will tell people back home all the time, like, hey, I was a part of that shoe, you know? It's really cool to be able to see some of the products you work on the Super Bowl or in the World Cup. I've had the chance to meet with athletes who I'm helping engineer product for, which has been pretty cool to be able to talk one-on-one -on -one and directly with the athlete who you're creating things for. There's nothing more satisfying for me than seeing someone wearing the product that I've worked on or seeing it up on the wall or seeing it in a, like an advertisement or something or on the internet. Like, just, I, had a, I had a hand in that. We have our downstream counterparts who do the storytelling, do the brand parts of it, um, but that physical product, we did it. <laughs>